Have you always wanted to explore traditional oil painting but been put off by the harmful chemicals and strong odours? In this clip I will give you six easy steps that you can add to your painting routine to create a solvent free painting environment. I will introduce various techniques and approaches for you to achieve beautiful oil paintings without relying on solvents for thinning or cleaning your brushes so watch all six tips to find out how. The main reason why I use solvent is for underpainting but there is an easy non-toxic alternative and the benefit is that it dries super quick too. This method is underpainting with acrylic paint. All you need to do is follow the same process of underpainting with oil paint. The difference is you start with a straight water downwash by adding water to acrylic paint. In this instance I have used burnt umber. You then start blocking in by sketching in with a watery mix so that you can rub out any mistakes. You then move on to blocking in the dark areas by adding the darker tones first by using acrylic and a minimal amount of water and then gradually moving to the lighter tones by adding more water. Because of the way that oil paint dries or cures, you need to apply the paint in layers that don't interfere with the curing of the paints. You can paint alla prima, which is an Italian term, which basically means the painting has been produced in one sitting. If you paint using a direct method or alla prima, then solvents and mediums aren't really required, though they can sometimes help. If you really needed to thin the paint down, then I would suggest you thin the paint with a non-toxic solvent. This method of painting involves placing distinct strokes or colour with the intention that they will remain there in the finished painting rather than being covered with layering. If you really wanted to create an underpainting with oil, this can be done using lavender spike oil. It's an essential oil that's been documented to have been used as a solvent for oil painting since the Renaissance. Painters such as Da Vinci, Rubens, Van Dyck and others have been recorded using spike oil. Though this is a solvent, it's the best alternative to turpentine and odourless mineral spirits on the market. And like other painting solvents, spike oil can thin and mix with paints and mediums as well as fully dissolve resins to make varnishes. Because of the high concentration and quantity used, even solvents with health benefits and lower toxicity risks should be handled carefully. For example, people who have allergies to lavender or flowers or are sensitive to strong smells should use caution while using spike oil, painting solvents and essential oils. In practice, people should always use adequate ventilation and the additional safety measures when using any painting solvents. The Gamsol Solvent Free range is a great alternative for when you want to start working fat over lean. And if you read the health and safety document of both the gel and the solvent free fluid the risks are minimal. They do however suggest that you thin the oil with Gamsol which I would not recommend and would suggest that you find a less toxic solvent. Everyone knows that oil and water don't mix especially when it comes to oil painting but thanks to recent developments a great variety of water based oil paints are now available. This new art technology acts similarly to traditional oil paints in the sense that you still have to use the traditional rule of gradation of layers known as fat over lean. The difference with traditional oils is that you can create your underpainting by mixing with water and there are a wide range of mediums available that are non-toxic. I don't clean my oil brushes, I use safflower oil and occasionally soap and water. Solvent wrecks the bristles in the brushes over time this is my quick and easy routine. After every brushing session, I clean the excess paint with a paper towel. I then move the paintbrush around in the brush washer and try and get as much paint off as I can. I then add this to my oil bath container. When I start my next painting session, I simply squeeze off as much oil as I can, clean with a paper towel and I'm good to go. I will from time to time have to clean my brushes because there are too many brushes in the bath or it's starting to become discoloured or clogged up. When this is the case I use master's brush soap but I do try and avoid this. If you want to find out more about how to get started in oil painting then tap or click and check the description below for details of the products used in today's clip and I hope you have a happy painting week. Mm -hmm.